All right, so this is the guitar melody part for Old Joe Clark. There are two different ways to play it. Um, there's a highway, which uses the G string, the B string, and the high E. The other way, it's going to use the bottom strings. Um, let me see. I think it's just so it's just the A and the D. So we'll start with the high version first. It's going to start on the open E. Take your middle finger, put it on the second fret of the E. That's an F sharp. Then ring finger on the third fret. That's a G. Then walk it right back down. So when E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. Then it's going to go to the D. That is on the B string, third fret. D to C sharp, which is the second fret. So that whole first part, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp. That's the first line of the A part. The second line is going to do pretty much the same thing, but it's going to stay on the high E. So it sounds like this, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, E. So you can hear it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, the third line is going to be exactly the same as the first line. So E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C. The next part, the very last line, is going to drop to the A. That's the second fret of the G string. And for this, you're going to have to kind of do a roll with your finger. And that gives you this A, C sharp. So they're both on the same fret, so they're using the same finger. So you go A, C sharp, B, B, A, A. So let's try that whole A part. Starting on the high E. One, two, ready, and E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. E, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, A, C sharp, B, B, A, A. Alright, you're going to do that two times, so let's give it a try. One, two, ready, and... Okay, so now the B part for this starts on that low A, jumps to the C sharp, or rather it jumps to the high E. So A, A, E, D, C sharp, A, A, high E, then D, that's the third fret of the B string, C sharp, second fret of the B string. Alright, try that with me. A, A, E, D, C sharp. Alright, the next part goes A, A, B, B. So, A, which is the second fret of the G string, and then B, which is open. So, one, two, one, two. Let's put both of those together. So, A, A, E, D, C, A, A, B, B, repeats, A, A, E, D, C, then the last part of the B part is exactly the same as the last part of the A part. So we went A, C sharp, B, B, A, so this is the whole B part, one, two, ready, and A, A, E, D, C sharp, A, A, B, B, A, A, E, D, C sharp, A, 
C sharp, B, B, A, A, and then you repeat the whole thing. The B part gets done twice, the A part two times. So let's give it a try, starting with the A part, and then going to the B part. Starts on that high E. One, two, ready, and... B part. Repeats. And then it would go right back to the A part. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do that same thing but an octave lower. So instead of starting up here on this high E, you're going to use your use your pointer finger on the second fret of the D string and you're going to have your ring finger being used on the fourth fret, right? So this way you would go E F sharp then to the open G string, back to the F sharp, to the E, to the open D, then with your ring finger stretch all the way to the C sharp, which is on the A string, and that sounds like this, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, then you start right back on that E, and go, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, E, like that. Then, the, if you remember from before, the next line is the same. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp. Then you're going to go to the open A, A, C sharp, then B, which is the second fret on that A string. And then A. So that whole second or last line went A, which is open C sharp, B, B, A, A. So here's the full A part E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, E. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, A, C sharp, B, B, A. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, E. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, A, C sharp, B, B, A. The next part, the B part, starts on that low A, and it went A, A, then to that E, E, D, C sharp. Let's try it together. Ready? And A, A, E, D, C sharp. Then it went A, to that B, then did the first line again, A, A, E, D, C sharp. And then did the very last line, which went A, C sharp, B, B, A. So that whole line sounds like this. A, A, E, D, C sharp, A, B, A, A, E, D, C sharp, A, C sharp, B, B, A. And then it repeats. If we played the whole melody down.
down like that, it would sound like this from the A part. Start on that E. Repeats. B part. So that's the guitar part for Old Joe Clark.